there are a couple different versions of this story uh, about Carl Friedrich Gauss in the late 1700s. He was a, uh, a young boy, some say first grade, some say third grade. Um, some say that he got in trouble, so he had to stay behind and answer the teacher's question that, that she thought was going to take a long time. Uh, others say that um, it was an assignment given to the whole class. Uh, back in those days, they had a piece of slate that they would write their answers down with a piece of chalk on the slate. And uh, he wrote down his one answer, and he walked up and handed the teacher his slate um, with the correct answer on it. Here was the question that the teacher thought was going to take a long time. Hello? Um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 98, 99, and 100. We're adding up these numbers from 1 to 100. So the teacher thought this would take the students a long time. And uh, Carl Friedrich Gauss, who's this little kid, a mathematical genius, writes down 5,050. That's it. That's all the kid wrote down. He was correct. Now, teacher didn't believe him at first. Didn't believe that a kid could do that without cheating. But this is what the kid came up with. 1 plus 100. What is 1 plus 100? 101. 2 plus 99. 3 plus 98. So this little kid saw that there were pairs that could be added together, and they were constantly coming up with the same thing. Now, how many pairs were there? 50. So 50 pairs of 101. So that's 5,000 plus another 50. So kid's pretty smart. Smarter than me at first grade. So, you know, so here's what the formula, here's the formula that he came up with. N is the number of terms. You should have that written down somewhere, number of terms. Yes, that's a capital S. Good question. This stands for the sum. The sum of the N terms. In this case, it'll be the sum of the 100 terms. So, um... In his example, it would be the sum of the 100 terms would be 100 over 2. That's the number of pairs. Times the sum of the first term and the last term. So I hope everybody in the room knows that a sub 1 stands for the first term. a sub n stands for the last term. So, according to his formula, that would be first term plus last term. It's a pretty easy formula to use. I have nicknamed this formula after Carl Friedrich Gauss's more commonly referred to rap name, Lil Carl. Should, you're right, Miss German. I, I messed up on when I when I wrote my subscript. It should have been an 18. Yep. I, I don't know why. I, I saw that 17 in my brain and it stuck. Should have been an 18. So you need to fill in the rest of this and simplify find uh, the sum of those numbers. Uh, I like that idea. I like that idea. Divide by 25. Okay. So what'd you get when you divided by 25? That's a good that's a good idea. 304 equals 4 plus the last term. Then you divide by 4. Not divide. Subtract. Subtract. There we go. Subtract. So what's the 50th term? 300 is correct. Yep, we just had to divide by 25 and subtract 4. So it wasn't that tough of a question. We just had to recognize what we had. In that question, 
Okay, let's go back and find another one that we have to add the sum of. Yes. Thank you for writing it down. Appreciate it. Okay, um, how about number five? Let's just... Um, we need to figure out how many terms we have here. So, okay, we've got we got the last number, yep, and the first number, right? Do we know the common difference? Four. Okay. So we we don't know how many terms there are. So that's what we need to find first. Don't, don't do, don't, don't, okay, don't try to combine these two things together. The five and the four do not get combined together. Okay, now that's a good idea. I like that. What do you get when you do that? 56, okay. That's a smart idea. Now what? Okay. So n minus n minus one equals what'd you say? Fourteen. So that means n equals fifteen. Okay. Now don't don't worry about those multiple choice answers. Let's find the sum. Find the sum. So this is a little jo a job for little Carl. Mm. No, remember, it's n over two times first term plus common diff or plus last term. So how many terms are there? Yes, Mr. Sherman. And we'll find out here. How many terms are there? Fifteen. So all you're doing is copying that number there. Okay, and then. What's the first term? 5 plus 61. Okay, go with the calculator. Yes, 495 is correct. Okay, so suppose uh, a student has taken three math tests so far. Uh, his scores for the first three tests were 63, 65, and 67. Suppose that his test scores continue to improve at the same rate. We got a common difference of two. All right, so let's mark that down. Okay, so... We do know that there are going to be a total of six tests. So that will help me find this one right here, the sum of six tests. So we know that little Carl's formula is going to come to play. And we know that 63 is the first one. What we don't know is the last term. If we use the explicit formula, now, I know this is a little overkill, folks, because we're only talking about three more numbers after 67. So, I'm sure it's not that hard to figure out. So, what is it going to be? What is the sixth one in the list? Seventy. Wait a second. Seventy-three. He 
If you use the formula, it's just 63 plus 10. Okay. Finish this last one while I'm checking your notes. Finish the last one while I'm checking your notes. So they told me that 408 was our final answer on that one. And I think we had this question. Um, if you see something that says find the sum or evaluate. 69. That's not the answer to this question. We're recording this for crying out loud. Okay. So you'd have four terms. First term's five. Last term's 20. Mr. Bond thinks he's so hilarious. <laughs> no, I was talking about this. I know. <laughs> and we get a sum of 50 for those terms like we did in class.